warming fire on a cold winter's night. Yes. And a cup of Jones in my hand. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas, everybody, at WTPT. Merry Christmas, Joey. A warm holiday welcome to our Xmas Spectacular. Extra special. It's extra awesome and special. That is and so are you. Oh, the viewers at home. <laughs> <laughs> and on this special uh, holiday video uh, uh, short episode, we're going. We're here to talk to you a little bit about um, how to help you get into the holiday season. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be showing you not one, not two, but three different ways. You can make your own Pokemon Christmas ornaments uh, as for perhaps a gift for your friend. Yes. Or um, perhaps for your own tree. Yes. Or just you're bored on a winter's day and now that you have vacation. If you're snowed in, have a snow day or you're on uh, Chris, uh, your uh, holiday vacation. Perfect thing to do. That's right. So. My fire died. Oh, no. Oh. Your fire's frozen. Oh. That's how ironic. Frost fire. <laughs> Anyway, so yes, the first thing we have is probably the most basic or most expected of, of <laughs> our uh, methods of doing this um, because we've done videos about it before, uh -huh. uh, and that is the pearl or bead method. And now is the perfect time to get involved with this sort of thing. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for the, the starter kit for your uh, Christmas and gifting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so you can find these in most craft stores. They're not uh, expensive, is it? Yeah. Uh, they're not. They're not too expensive. You got a starter kit for probably like between ten. Oh, that's about, not about ten dollars, maybe more, uh, depending on which one you get. Most parents would be ecstatic if you want something that's <laughs> not fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's cheaper than a video game. That's all they have to know. Um, so, I of course made a charmian. Duh. <laughs> and um, you could look up. Uh, Google Pokemon Sprites, <coughs> and you'll have a tremendous resource on all the different Pokemon you can make. And uh, it works actually really perfectly because the perler beads, by nature, have holes in them, so you can put a Christmas ornament hook, or in my case, just a twist tie, it makes it a perfect little ornament. And uh, so if you want to research a little bit about how to do this, if you haven't seen our past videos, you can find a link right here. It's it's by my face. It's by my face, too. It's in between my face. All right. So. Uh, That's one. Uh, another uh, thing you could do, really simple. Pokeball. So they, uh, as part of some of the starter kits, they sell pegboards. And uh, some of them are round, like, a, like this here. And uh, Now, you like, couldn't do that with the regular square one? You, you couldn't do it exactly like this. OK. Uh, this is especially uh, around pegboard because they're the, the other pegboards are organized like uh, like a pixel like a, a grid sort of this is more arranged in a circle specifically in a circle so uh, if you did it with a square pegboard it would look like a pixelated sort of sprite I get this. But yeah. yeah so uh, well with this in mind this always also reminds me another really nice easy way if you want to like add something to your tree. Most trees have the big round, uh, you know, ornament balls. Uh, it's not. It's fairly trivial to take one of those and paint it like a Pokeball, and you've got yourself a nice little Pokemon uh, Christmas ornament like that. Not totally made yourself, but it's something cool, a little pipe. Cool. Um, so the second method we're going to be talking about tonight is <coughs> origami. Origami. This is a little tricky. Uh, yeah, Joey and I had difficulty with it. Yeah, he was just uh, trying this. He was these books pretty easy to come by, I think. Well, find these are actually kind of old now. You may be able to find them online somewhere. I see them in used bookstores. You do? Yes, I do. Exactly. So this is what I made. I made a nice little Pikachu. How long did that take you? Uh, probably about what, fifteen minutes? I would say about ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, it was. It now was just a little, little bit of you know got stuck on one of the tail parts, but it came out pretty nice all the same. And uh, it would be pretty easy to uh, hang him or poke a little hole in the ear or something. Yeah, with a Christmas hook, uh, this would be perfect for that, I'd say. Uh-huh. Um, you could also write a little love note to that special someone inside <laughs> of it. Oh, the good, the, another convenient thing about these is that they fit in an envelope if, you're, if you have a 
Pokemon trainer in, a li in your life that lives far away. That's right. I make origami, uh, what's it called, uh, gravelers. <laughs> yeah, origami gravelers. Gra origami geodudes. <laughs> Those are really easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the arms are a little tough. I just ripped them off my G.I. Joes, though. <laughs> um, all right, so the third method we're going to talk about tonight is actually one that I don't have an example of because uh, I don't have... I didn't uh, but, think far enough. But wait, it, in my pocket, what's this? <gasps> it's a magic link! <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. I love after <laughs> uh, Host. <laughs> so, Shrinky Dinks. <coughs> yes. Uh, so, essentially what Shrinky Dinks are is like you get a, a piece of plastic that looks like a piece of paper, um, similar, and you draw whatever you want on it, and you cut it out in any shape you want it, and you stick it in your toaster oven or oven, and it shrinks to about one-third of the original size. And uh, it also... Uh, it also gets thicker as well, like, I think about eight times thicker. Wow. So, uh, they come out really cool, because you, if you're shrinking something, the details, like, you, you kind of get... It's like when you look at a picture up close, it's blurry, and then it's like, like an 8-bit, yeah. you know, but when it stands back, it's like, ah, oh, I see it clear now. They, they make, it makes nice, really nice little charms and whatnot, so uh, you should certainly check out the, <coughs> the link that we had posted. And, uh, oh, do you have to use any special markers or something on those? I'm not exactly sure, but you can find it out on the video we post, I assure you. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot of other crafts, uh, but you know, these are just three little things to get you started because this is a great time to, you know, just do something quaint and cool with your friends and, you know, especially on the days where, you know, you don't want to, you just want to like decorate. Uh, we've put up quite a few decorations at uh, my house. Yeah. Uh, she didn't let me put it. I had one Pokemon thing, but the missus would not let me put it on the tree. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I hit it on the back anyway. See, I don't have a Christmas tree in my apartment, but I have this like rubber tree over here. It's a Kwanzaa bush. A <laughs> Kwanzaa bush. <laughs> and uh, I, I actually hung a few of my Mario ornaments. I have Mario Christmas ornaments I like, Yoshi that I break so. out like once every year, of course. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Um, what about the forum event, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, tell you about this. Uh, if if you don't feel like making ornaments, maybe you feel like making a stocking. Whoa. So, okay, we have this event going on in forums called the TPT Fireplace. You can find it in the Community Announcements Forum. And um, essentially, like we had a Halloween event and a Thanksgiving event, is a Christmas or holiday event, where people are making their own stockings, uh, with the template image that I posted, or even taking a photo of your real uh, Christmas stocking, perhaps, and posting it on this thread that I made. And on Christmas Day, perhaps Christmas Eve, in the evening or something, uh, I'll, we'll, the moderators will be uh, giving out Poké Dolls to all the good girls and boys. Mm -hmm. uh, so. And what about the bad boys and girls? Well, let's just say we hope you weren't naughty this year. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, check that out. Mm -hmm. Palantribune.com. You could check that out, that link out in the uh, notes for this video. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, oh, uh, next week we're going to have a regular, full fledged, regular episode for you. So, look forward to that. We still have a Fortnite question up. Yeah. Uh, and that is to recap. Well, tell us if there's any questions that you'd like us to answer about uh, Pokemon Rumble. Pokemon Rumble, or if, uh, if or, or if you have any uh, like feedback about right. the game yourself. You yeah, we'd like, like to hear your opinions, reviews, what you think. You know, don't forget, don't don't write me more than two per one paragraph. <laughs> Keep it to a paragraph. <laughs> two if you're really interesting. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we also have uh, a new feature next episode that we're gonna. Premiere, so oh, we'll right. forward to that. This is pretty cool. Alright, well. Yeah. Until then, uh, I wish everybody a uh, merry season, whatever you celebrate. And a happy new year to everyone as well. And uh, stay out of the tall tinsel. <laughs>